Science is real from the Big Bang to DNA. Now that we have all these wonderful ways of thinking about our acids and bases, what do we do to react them? At this point, we are going to focus on neutralization reactions. Acid plus base yields water and salt. You've seen this general equation in your previous chemistry class. Of course, for this equation to work, we will need to stick to an Arrhenius base so that we can have an OH negative to make that water. And for now, we will. Let's consider the reaction of hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide. We are dealing with strong acids and bases in aqueous solutions, which means this equation is written more completely as this. Notice my water molecule is a liquid. It is not an aqueous solute, so it stays together. Kind of like a precipitate. Hmm. Does that mean I can look for spectator ions and write a net ionic equation as we did for precipitation reactions? Yes. Yes, we can. Bye-bye, sodium and chloride ions. You do nothing for me. And I'm left with my net ionic equation. In fact, any time you do a reaction between a strong acid and a strong base, the net ionic equation will look just like this one. What if we react a weak acid with a strong base? For example, what if we reacted acetic acid with potassium hydroxide? How would that equation look? Acetic acid is a weak acid, so most of it does not dissociate. So I'm going to keep it as one molecule. Potassium hydroxide is highly soluble and a strong base, so that can be dissociated right away. The hydroxide will pull the hydrogen off of the weak acid because the base's attraction to that proton is greater than the anion of the acid. This leaves me with potassium ion and acetate ion. Lose the spectator ion, in this case potassium ion, and there I go, my net ionic equation. Notice I can't drop the acetate ion because on the reactant side, the acetate ion is part of the acetic acid molecule until the hydroxide removes the H+. It does more than just watch the reaction happen. It loses a friend. Well, there you go. That's the basics of acid-base chemistry. Be sure when you come to class, you are clear on the various definitions of acids and bases, being able to identify both strong and weak acids and bases, make sure you know how to properly dilute a solution from a concentrated solution, and make sure you know how to write a neutralization reaction. We will spend more time next semester studying acid-base chemistry and how it relates to our equilibrium concepts. For now, we're going to focus on solving acid-base problems and bringing in our stoichiometry, net ionic equation, and molarity skills. You should also consider how volumetric titration works when studying neutralization reactions. You actually did this at the end of your last chemistry class. We will go ahead and study that also when we're looking at our equilibrium concepts. For now, it is described in your textbook pretty nicely. So I'd give that a quick perusal before coming to class. That's it for me. See you in class. Science is real.